So we have this dilemma of evolution. A dumb force creates these little beasties on this planet that end up evolving. And in the evolutionary process, they end up eating their own relatives, essentially. It becomes this consumption, reproduction, cannibalism, and addiction scenario. And then you can even go to the ethical question of this whole idea of imposition. And what rights of nature are we allowed to impose on each other? If somebody is allowed to say, nature made me have a baby, then I'm going to say nature gave me the ability to make a fist so I have a right to throw it. I mean, it's just bullshit. You can't drive a car recklessly. You shouldn't be able to drive a vagina or a penis recklessly. You should take responsibility for your conduct. People are basically doing, they're conducting a little life experiment and they're deciding what the fate of another consciousness is going to be. Okay, they're imposing it. Everybody should be able to judge whether that's a right or wrong thing to do. There's an ethical question that has to be answered. Do people have a right to create life if they have absolutely no clue what the fuck they're doing? I'm anti the Inquisition and I'm anti imposition. Alright, so I'm anti fascist. Is that really that complicated? I don't think it's that complicated. There's lots of things that change in the fucking world, okay? These attitudes and understanding change. Vegetarianism is certainly catching on. Atheism has caught on, at least in Europe. So this idea that nothing can change, oh no, people will never, never, never be able to do simple addition and figure out they have a responsibility when they're creating this life thing. Bullshit. It's just a cop-out. Oh, it can't happen, therefore it's not valid to discuss. I mean, it just doesn't mean anything. Even stuff we have no access to, we can still make judgments about. And even if you can't stop nuclear power plants from being built, it's perfectly rational to voice your opinion on what's the ethics of it, and what the efficiency of it, and what the likely outcome will be of it, if you have a theory. All right, so this is just crap. Thank you very much, philosophers, for adding your, oh, just shut the fuck up opinion. And it's also, so it's just impractical. Well, there, yeah, there's a lot of stuff. <laughs> right, it's uh, impractical yeah. to stop people from eating meat, too. So you're going to argue with me that if 80% of people become vegetarian, you last 20% aren't going to be grandfathered out. That you're basically going to be told, like cigarette smokers, that you can't smoke anymore. Okay, you can't eat meat anymore. That'll be the rule. You'll be priced out of access or you'll be overtly prevented from conducting animal torture chambers. Pregnant by accident, by accident. You know, people don't necessarily intend to have babies. They right. have sex and then they're pregnant. Yeah, so you're just basically excusing preposterous irresponsibility. And you're doing it in this context, like you're gonna pretend that most people on Earth, or a huge percentage of them, don't know that sperm meeting egg creates babies. They don't know that sex causes babies. They don't know that you have to try to prevent that. Obviously, there's cultures that don't allow women access to birth control, and that should be changed, obviously. But yeah, the most of the people who have babies accidentally have no more excuse than somebody getting into a car when they know the brakes don't work and just saying, I'll take a chance. They're no better than drunk fucking drivers. They shouldn't be fluffed off like, oh yeah, well, that's just the way people are. They're reckless assholes. People are obsessed with their family name and a bunch of ego bullshit. And so they're having kids quite overtly, deliberately, intentionally. So don't pretend it's an accident of sex. Bullshit. If you want to be a responsible driver, you can go outside and look at your tires and make sure they got air in them. You can do a lot of things to make sure things are going to go all right. And you'll preposterously change the odds of an accident. Okay, you'll, you'll, you'll do tremendous value to that equation if you just exercise a little bit, a little tiny bit of, of discipline.